How we hunt rabbits at our farm. Sometimes at a Highland Hole Farm, we want to get rid of rabbits because they do a lot of damage to trees and shrubs. We especially like to get rid of them in our yard. However, we end up usually shooting them. And another way we get rid of them is we have a rabbit hunting program here where people can come and bring their dogs and hunt rabbits. What we ask you is to you bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post, an eight foot post because we're putting up a deer fence, and then you get to hunt rabbits for the day. If you get a couple rabbits, then you get another couple free days. So if you get you know a kill, you can come back. Uh, and it doesn't cost you anything to come back. If you want to hunt deer here, we also have a deer hunting program. The same sort of idea works on a deer program. For, for hunting deer, you bring us a locust cedar or pressure treated fence post, 12 foot long. You get the hunt for the day. If you shoot a deer, you get three free days. If you get two deer in any part of any single season, you can have the rest of the season for free and as stupid as this sounds, I'll give you 25 worthless U.S. dollars for having cleaned up our property of deer, which we actually hate. There are three things that kill a lot of nursery stocks in, in, in trees and shrubs in, in, in a nursery. One is field mice. So you can always come and hunt field mice for free. I do it all the time. I sit on my, my tractor and I ride around with a 22 bird shot and if they pop out, I shoot them while I'm mowing. The other, other vector that is very bad on, on the farm is the rabbits. Of course, rabbits eat a lot of young trees. And everybody knows about deer. However, when you think about all the deer damage and that you get, deer do a lot of damage to larger trees. But the small trees are damaged mostly by rabbits and mice. So controlling these vectors is very important. So hunting is a very big part of managing our nursery here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We also have other farms for lease, for hunting leases in Bradford County, Pennsylvania. We currently have 1,200 acres for lease in a town called Milan, PA, which we will lease out for about 15 to $20 an acre. We have quite a bit of acreage and we can divide it up. We also have hunting opportunities for people in Montana and New Mexico. In the Montana areas, we have five or six ranches out there that are pretty large. They, they range from 1,200 acres, maybe up to 25, 30,000 acres. In New Mexico, we have two large ranches, one in Magdalena and one in Truth or Consequences. And we do let people hunt them. But, you know, of course, those are for, uh, for hunting fees. Also in Magdalena and in Truth or Consequences, we have what has been described as a lot of Indian artifacts. And you can go hunt for artifacts there. We do charge for that. And you can also look for, for gold on our Magdalena property because we have a gold mining claim there. So when you visit Highland Hill Farm, you never know what you're going to get or what you're going to come away with because we have lots of trees and shrubs. But if you want to hunt rabbits and deer, we have an opportunity for you as well. All you have to do is give us a call at 215-651-8329 and you can get started doing your hunting and camping if you want. We, we've got lots of opportunities. We also allow free bird watching. So give us a call 215-651-8329. Thank you.